Help me out, please. Help me out, please. Help me out, please. This is what you'd expect to hear in the tenderloin. In the tenderloin, there's a lot of there's a lot of holes. This is not. Michael Swain <laughs> likes to sew. My mom gave me some lessons when I was a young kid. <laughs> He's not a tailor. Is that the right length? Brown would be okay. He's a mender. The neighbors bring things with holes and um, rips. On the 15th of every month, he rolls up his umbrella on a tenderloin sidewalk. I've done a lot of mending now. Hello. <laughs> it's nice to give something a second life. <laughs> neighbors bring him their clothes. Two pairs of pants to be hemmed. Yeah. Top sweaters. A beloved jacket. We just did some, um, we just did his boxers. But there's never a charge. I like calling this the free mending library. You didn't find the stuff I left here 10 years ago, did you? <laughs> Which stuff did you, you leave here? <laughs> when it provides a need for people that are low income, that can't spend a lot of money on clothes. <laughs> people give what they can. Um, <laughs> thank you a tin of mints, a box of donuts, a kind word. You have the people, you know, who doesn't have money. Some bring him stories. Found that part of the courthouse. Nice, it's a nice coat. Even his machine has a tail. We saw this sewing machine on the side of the road, kind of someone was throwing it out in this fancy neighborhood. But in this neighborhood. For me. For you. Yeah, for, you. for, for, yeah. for, for me. Yeah, yeah. Swain's gift is cut from a different cloth. This is what I would call community in action. Because no hole is too small. Easy, I'll just do a little yeah, stitch. Yeah. For most. So he fixed it for me. Broken things are stitched back together. So I'll nice. just stretch it a little bit. Proving that you know, sometimes no clothes. One second, one second. And people. I'm really good, look. Just need a second chance. The frenetic tenderloin, I love it, I love it. Scott Budman. <laughs> NBC 11 News.